Well, back in July, you remember we told you about the story of Lloyd Warner, a young black St. Joseph man who was lynched in the 1930s. Efforts to remember what happened to him have not stopped as the community came together today once again to honor his life and story. It really will take community efforts like the one happening in St. Joseph to advance a more just society and a new era of truth and justice. Sunday afternoon, the St. Joseph Black Archives Museum invited the public once again to a remembrance service honoring the life and story of Lloyd Warner. Warner was 18 when he was lynched in front of the Buchanan County Courthouse in November of 1933. Now, 88 years later, his story is getting new attention thanks to the museum and the Equal Justice Initiative. It's just been a really great opportunity. Local historians familiar with the story of Warner say it's one that must continue to be told no matter how painful. Not a lot of people want to hear about a lynching in America. It's not something that, you know, ever happens in, in your backyard, but it did happen in our backyard. The service included a rededication of the soil collected from the lynching. The goal to continue to educate. There are people here today that are finding out more and more that they didn't know back in July when we did the one on the courthouse lawn. In hopes of learning collectively towards a brighter future. It's sad as it is and as it's hurtful as it can be it's still the history and once you face that we can move forward it's helping people to come together to move forward the black archives museum is currently working on securing a memorial for warner to be to be displayed at the courthouse they have a target date for completion set sometime next spring